Hi, I'm Stephanie Martin. Today we're going to talk about cleaning and the preventative maintenance of your hydrovection oven. Please always remember to follow the MSDS instructions on your cleaner and also important are safety glasses and rubber gloves. Now the daily cleaning procedures are about eight simple rules. First you must make sure that your appliance has an internal temperature of 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Never clean the interior of the oven when it's above 212 degrees. Every hydrovection oven will have a spray bottle pump shipped with it. Follow the label instructions on it for how to fill, never going above the fill line. So let's clean the oven. Okay, now spray the interior of the oven with the cleaning solution, making sure to cover all the surfaces, including the fan guard here in the back. Okay, now we're going to let the cleaner work for the recommended amount of time per the instructions on our solution bottle. Okay, well our recommended wait time on our agent was 10 minutes, so we've waited the 10 minutes and now we're going to go ahead and set the control. Okay, first off we're going to set the time for 20 minutes. And the internal temperature of the oven needs to be 225 degrees Fahrenheit. Next up, we want to put hydro in 100% and we're going to hit start. Okay, our 20 minutes is done and we're going to turn the power off of the oven and we'll pull out the spray hose and open the door. Rinse the interior of the oven, getting all of the agent off from the stainless interior. It'll all flow down into the drain here. And the next step will be to take a clean rag and dry the interior of the oven. Okay, we're going to leave the door slightly open and that will allow the oven to vent and also increase the longevity of the gasket. These procedures can be followed and seen in your operations manual. Follow those as well as take a look at that operations manual for recommendations on cleaning agents. Okay, now in addition to the nightly cleaning procedures, there's also a weekly cleaning procedure to follow. It has six easy steps and let's go through those right now. First, we want to make sure that the oven is off and cooled down below 140 degrees for your safety. And then we'll remove all of the racks and remove the rack guides. Okay, we're going to rotate the two screws in the back here counterclockwise on the fan guard. Swing the baffle forward. Lift the baffle to remove the pins from the brackets. Remove the baffle from the oven. Thoroughly spray cleaner onto the fan and heat source. And then we're going to close the door to allow the cleaner to work, about 10 minutes. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes. Now we're going to use the spray hose to clean the detergent off from the blower wheel and the heating source. Okay, I've reinstalled the baffle, the rack guides, and the racks now to the interior of the oven. And we're done. The best preventative maintenance is proper installation of the oven and regular cleaning regimen. Follow these procedures that we went over today and the result will be a clean, well-maintained appliance. Thanks for watching.